Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to continue unboxing with you guys some of the items that I purchased at the Sephora VIB sale recently. So this video is all of the skincare items that I purchased and a couple of kind of fun items. Um, so I have some skincare favorites to show you guys as well as um, a candle and an advent calendar. So let's get started. Um, so I'll start with some of my favorite skincare items. This is one of my holy grails and I was restocking on this one. So that's this one. And then um, just to give you guys an overview of other things, so I also got um, another peptide item from Clinique, which is the eye one, and I can go over that one next. And then I also got some serums from The Ordinary that I've used. Um, and then two new skincare items I got is this Tatcha The Essence, which I'm really excited to try, as well as this face cleanser from um, First Aid Beauty Fab. So these are both like items I'm very excited to try. And um, and then I also have two like novelty items. So one is this candle from Relupsa, just in time for the holidays and for you know winter when it can get kind of cold. As well as this is like. I'm very excited about this, which is this Ciate London Advent Calendar with 24 or 22 plant pots of nail polish. And I'll show you guys this more in detail later. So that's kind of just an overview of today's stuff. Um, so, and um, one of my favorite skincare items is actually this moisturizer from Drunk Elephant. So this is their protein peptide, polypeptide cream, and it says it has nine signal peptides. So this is actually one of my favorite moisturizers. From Drunk Elephant. And I think this one is relatively expensive. Um, I believe it retails for $68, but it works really well for my skin. So if I put it on the night before, I will actually see kind of a big difference um, the next day. So this is one of my kind of go-to moisturizers. I don't use it every day um, because it is so expensive, but I will use it maybe two to three times a week. And it's almost like a facial because every time I use it, it actually just brightens up my skin and I can see a noticeable difference when I use this. So I really like um, this moisturizer. And I checked kind of the effectiveness and um, for toxins for this moisturizer on both um, Beautypedia and also um, uh, the good, uh, good face, the app to see if it's, um, clean and it's very effective, also like very clean. So, um, really do recommend you guys checking out this moisturizer. So, let me, and it's basically filled with a lot of peptides and peptides are, um, kind of molecules that really help with your skin. Um, so I'll read the back for you guys. It says, this breakthrough protein moisturizer combines unprecedented array and concentration of signal peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acid, and pygmy water lily for immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. This proprietary formula restores younger, revived-looking skin almost from the first application Lines, wrinkles, signs of sun damage appear reduced and skin feels strengthened and moisturized. And usually, you know, with these things, it's like very 
marketing forward and you know the claims or not usually don't stand up to kind of what you expect them to be but I really feel like this one kind of lives up to its claims and it does that for my skin so from the very first application I can feel that it makes a difference I wanted something that didn't exist so I made it myself that's the inside of that it's like really cute packaging um, and I think the packaging is recyclable at least this paper stuff it has a little explanation inside and I've gone through a couple of these so I know kind of what they look like so this is what this looks like and they're 15 milliliters or 1.69 float ounces so it's not that much product but I'm really it just feel like it makes a difference for my skin so I keep coming back to it I just haven't found another moisturizer that's as good and so this is kind of the way that it dispenses is you press this down and the lotion kind of comes through here and um, it's like a white cream texture but it's not too thick um, so it's just it feels very clean and fragrance free and it's super effective and it's air sealed one of my favorite um, favorite moisturizers actually so I recommend you guys checking this one out so after this moisturizer I want to talk about this other it's also a moisturizer but it's the pep pep start it's for the eyes so this is also like a holy grail item for me and I'm restocking on this it's the Clinique pep start eye cream so this one, um, I think retails for, it used to be $28, but now it's $29, and it's a 0 0.5 fluid ounce, so it's a lot less than the 0 0.5 or the 50 ml. This one is only 15 ml compared to the Proteiny, and it's $29, but this one also is filled with peptides, and I feel like it's the only eye cream that has really made a little bit of a difference for me like I feel like generally eye creams don't do that much for me but this one has worked really well for me and it actually lasts me pretty long I don't use that much and it also has a lot of peptides um, the box doesn't say that much but it has good peptides and I do notice that, um, it works well for me and this is kind of the applicator and it's also air sealed so it protects you know all of the ingredients inside and you click it up like so and it dispenses and the texture is actually very um, similar to the proteiny peptide one from Drunk Elephant it's like a white cream that is not too um, thick or too um, like light it's just just kind of somewhere in between so it's a very good like texture and you'll feel instantly moisturized and I do love the peptide that is in this so that's this one um also recommend you guys checking out this one it's called pep start at eye cream from Clinique and let me know in the comments if you guys have any recommendations for good eye creams because I feel like they haven't really worked for me in the past. This is the best one and I'm not sure I've seen like a huge difference from using this. So, Alright, the next two items I wanted to go over are from The Ordinary. So these are also restocks. Um, if you guys don't know, The Ordinary... I really like them because they're known for having really effective ingredients at a very very affordable price so um, for example this one is a lactic acid which is kind of a chemical exfoliator and I think it retails for $7.80 versus if I were to get something similar from Drunk Elephant it would retail for $90 so it's very affordable but it's also effective and their packaging is very sustainable so um, I really like the ordinary as well 
they did get acquired i think by a bigger company so they used to be like a small st standalone company but they got acquired um i think by estee lauder but they're still um doing good products i feel like and they have they're very focused on skincare and i tried a bunch of them last year and these two came out as kind of winners for me and so this first one is the hyaluronic acid 2% with B5 and uh, it says it's a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid um, and they added a little bit of B5 which I think is a vitamin that's good for your skin so I use hyaluronic acid pretty much whenever I'm not using like a different serum um, it's like one of those serums that you can use all the time and it won't be too much for your skin so I pretty much apply this three to four times a night before moisturizing um, right after I shower when there's kind of still steam from the shower so it kind of captures all that moisture from the skin um, oh, from the room and you know hyaluronic is acid serums are just you know something that you can use all the time and it's good for moisture so this is what the bottle looks like and i got the one that's 60 ml or two fluid ounces so they come in these glass bottles they're super easy to recycle and i just peel off this thing the sticker which is really easy and i recycle the glass so it's very um sustainable as well as well as affordable and effective so i really um i'm happy that this brand is out there um and this this formula has worked really well for me um i also like another hyaluronic acid from the ordinary but that one is i think 28 dollars versus i got the bigger version so you can tell from like the boxes that this one is a lot bigger than the other serums that i got because i use hyaluronic acid so much like all the time just to keep my face moisturized um but yeah this one is only i think 12 dollars versus like glossy i think for something smaller would be 28 dollars so you can see how affordable these are um so yeah definitely recommend you guys checking this one out so i did we stock this in a bigger size because I use it so much. Another one that I liked, um, another serum that I liked is this lactic acid, 10% HA, and this is a direct acid as you can see here. So this one is not a moisturizer, but it's like a an acid peel, so it helps um, turn over your skin and helps with cell turnover so it helps with more um, anti-aging uh, wrinkles and things like that and they added some HA which stands for hyaluronic acid because the peeling can be a bit harsh for the skin so they added some hyaluronic moisture back to help with um, the peeling so um, yeah, it says they add it, they dilute it with other treatments to reduce strength until skin develops tolerance. Or, uh, yeah, so you can maybe build up the usage for this. It says it can be applied once daily, but I think that's too much exfoliation acid for my skin. So I'll use this about once to two times a week, kind of combined with maybe retinol so i'll do like two acid peels a week one in retinol and one with this lactic acid and i do really like this um, formulation as well like whenever i use it i can see a difference the next day so i um and you want to use this at night because it can be a little bit since it can make your skin harsh and like sensitive so you want to use this at night and wear sunscreen in the morning which is pretty much, you know, all, um, all type of acids that you want to do on your skin. You definitely want to wear sunscreen the next day because it can make your skin more sensitive. But I think in general, you want to wear 
Ah, uh, sunscreen. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's in this nice peachy pink color. And, um, it doesn't have any, like, artificial color, but, and it smells, it definitely smells acidic. I don't know if you're supposed to smell this, but, yeah. So, I really like this one, and it has similar effects for me for, as the Drunk Elephant AHA, BHA, like acid, which cost $90. Um, so this one only cost $7.80, and I feel like it's just as effective as that one, so I've switched over to this one. So yeah, these are two of my favorite acids or serums from um, The Ordinary, if you guys are interested in trying out this brand. Um, the next item I got is a new item. And it is from one of my favorite brands, Tatcha. So this is their essence, and it's supposedly a hundred percent of their pure Hadassah like skin softener, um, which is a proprietary concentrate of Japanese superfoods, rich in essential amino acids that improve skin texture and helps amplify performance. Um, so that's what that says in the back here. So this is an essence, and right now I use the SK2 essence, but I was checking some of their ingredients on Good Face, and it seems to have like some not so great uh, ingredients, but it just works really well for my skin. It clears up my acne, it improves the texture, I think it helps with my wrinkles, like preventative wrinkles. So I really like that and I was very attached to it. Um, but I found out that maybe it doesn't have the best ingredients. And I looked up other essences and found this one. And it has really good reviews on um, Sephora. And what essence is supposed to do is to, like to help um, open up the skin and soften it. So then like other ingredients work better, like hyaluronic acid or your moisturizer works better. And yeah, this looked really promising, so I picked it up. And um, first thing is that the packaging is very intricate and like they have two slots to open it in the back and I was kind of confused how to open it. But then I think you open it from this longer side and it unfolds like really beautifully. It says, this package was thoughtfully curated with care for the environment. It came from follower journey with sustainability. So, I do like more sustainable companies and packaging. I always feel bad if things come in like a lot of plastic or... Yeah, I feel bad. So, I do like that they put more thought into um, using paper or sustainable options. And it says, this piece was born in Japan, nurtured in California, and shared with you to spark a journey of care and well-being. So that's what that one says. And, and then the item kind of comes out like this. Oh, and on the back here, which I think it was covered. Yeah, so it's covered. And then here it says, beautiful faces, beautiful futures. Your purchase supports quality through education, so I think they donate to help support um, girls' education with books, which I really like too. So then it kind of, and there's like a nice little, uh, like, and the bottle is totally glass, which I really like. So, um... Yeah, so it's like even more sustainable packaging options. And the cap, the cap is plastic, but I think it can also be recycled, so. And then there's this like really nice, uh, their signature pattern, and they have a sticker here that I think we can peel off. So, just really cute packaging. And in the back, it says, press a palmful onto face and neck. 
use after cleansing and before any other skincare. So that's what that looked like. And I was worried because I got the smaller version. So I got the one that has only 75 ml. And this one retails for um, $65 versus like the bigger one will retail for uh, over 100 I think it's 105 And I really wanted to try this one out. So I'm really glad that the small one also came in kind of a um, glass bottle because I was afraid that it was going to come in um, like a plastic bottle because it was smaller, but it didn't. So really happy about that. Um, I'm super excited to try because I haven't tried this one. If it works well, I'll probably replace my SK2 with this. Um, but yeah, very excited to try it. I'll let you guys know how that one goes. And Tatcha just always has, you know, really cute packaging, and it's very thoughtful and beautiful, um, so it's no different, and I feel like it just makes kind of the application process, like when I use this with a glass bottle, it just feels different and, you know, much nicer in some sense. So yeah, very excited to try this one. Um, another item that I got that is new for me is this face cleanser from First Aid Beauty or FAB and it says in the back it says this fragrance free gentle cleanser with a sumptuous creamy texture effectively removes makeup dirt and impurities leaving skin soft and supple without feeling tight or dry and this is super well rated um this is actually 5 ounce, which is quite a bit, um, but it's super well rated, and I love that it's creamy, and um, I used to use a lot of gel cleansers, and I talked to an esthetician, and she said gel cleansers can um, dry out your skin because of the texture and kind of the ingredients that go into gel cleansers, um, so I've been trying to switch over to like a good cream cleanser, but I um, haven't found a good one, so I really want to give this one a try. Um, and I checked some of the ingredients online, and it's clean on good face, and uh, the ratings are super high, so I'm very excited to try this one and um, see if it works well for me. The only grip I have is that I would prefer, you know, like glass packaging, because plastic is is terrible for the environment, but it's a really affordable and it's well rated, so I think it has a lot more pros um, than con, so I'm very happy. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to try this one. Cool, so that's this one. And the last two items I have um, is this candle from the Loose Pot. I think it's maybe a limited edition. From them, and it has three. Look how cute the packaging is, and I feel like it's very Christmassy because it has this red color, and then it has this green color, and this gold and white color, and it just feels very Christmas-like to me. So I'm not sure if it's a limited edition, but it is a Sephora exclusive, and you get three of these um, candles. And, um, I think, uh, the flavors are, this one is Goji Taraco, which is, like, an orange. So that's this one. And I was looking at the description online. This. So that's what one of them looks like. Like this. This one is Goji, and it's kind of matte in the body, but glossy on top, which is nice. And this 
one is orange and goji, which is really interesting. It's like a warm, I think the goji adds a little bit of warmth to the acidity of the orange, which smells really good, but it doesn't really scream like Christmas to me, so I'm not sure if I will keep these because I feel like the scents are a little bit, I wanted something like cozy for winter. And I don't know if these scents are like that cozy. This one is French Kate and Lavender. And it's also kind of has a matte body. And I think their candles are made of coconut and they're also very clean. This one smells a lot like laundry to me, so. <laughs> but I think with a little bit of like woodsiness. And this one's very Christmas decorated. This one's all green. I can see like putting all three and burning them together on maybe the coffee table, and that would be like really nice. Yeah, really pretty decor. This one is Pinjori Lychee. I'm not sure what Pinjori means, but they're all clean candles, so which is important. Oh, this one smells really sweet. So that they all look like this. And it smells like, it smells a lot like lychee. I'm trying to see if I can smell anything else in there. I don't think so. So yeah, that's the last candle there. I like this sound. So, those are kind of the three candles. Um, not sure if you guys like burning candles, but I have been kind of into them recently. So, yeah. And the last item, which I'm really excited about, is actually this advent calendar from Siate. London. This is their Manny Mini Manny Month Advent Calendar. And it's really cool because they have this um, design from exclusive collectible artwork by Ruby Taylor. So this is a piece of art by Ruby Taylor. And this is like, I love the style of art. It's very bright and happy and has a lot of things going on so this is like definitely the type of art that I really like and what it is is it features so it has like 22 um here just to give you guys an overview Siate London's naturally derived formula takes center stage in this year's mini mini month so it features 22 mini plant pots one full-size plant pot, and a deluxe mini watermelon burst hydrating primer. This is the ultimate beauty haul, formulated with up to 80% naturally derived ingredients and using biodegradable glitter. The plant pots are infused with strengthening biotin and bamboo extract and nourishing bak bakuko extract, delivering ultra-glossy long wear results. So that's what that sets up here. And these are the colors that they featured. Um, you can see there's kind of like a green one here. This one is called Total Eclipse. Or this, or here, the, the Dancing Queen. Or Racing Queen. This one's green next to the red, which is play date. So I can see that good for Christmas. And I've never bought an advent calendar before, so I thought it would be something fun to do and unbox, you know, all of Christmas. Um, I've always wanted to try one, but I've never um, done that, so I'm really excited to try this. And um, I was, it opens up and on the inside, and it has kind of like 12 on each side. It goes from 
one all the way. Here's number one. It goes one all the way to twenty-four. Right here. So I guess you would kind of like open up each day as you get there. So isn't this fun? I'm so excited to kind of try and play with this and it's really colorful and artsy too, which I love. And let me show you guys. So this is kind of her rendition of London. You can see the, the bus, the London buses, and then the famous like um, architecture here. And then you can see her nail polish next to it, which is fun. Um, this is good things ahead all together now. So it's just like a really bright painting. And I was opening this up and it looks like you can actually take out the painting itself. So you can have, it comes out like this. Isn't that cool? And then the packaging retains actually the image. So you can take this photo and like frame it and put it up and have fun with it so um i'm not i i'm not from london or anything but i really do like london and um i love this and i'm really happy that it came one of these so, yeah, so this is what it looks like and um let me show you guys kind of the the item because it uses all of the products on one side and I love that they're naturally derived and I feel like they're trying to be more like healthy and they're infused with a lot of great ingredients and it's such a good value actually because it's only $65 um, and if you can get it on sale it's even cheaper than that um, for all of these nail polishes so and they're all from you know a prestige brand and the colors are really um, usable and practical I love all the different pinks because I'm always kind of rotating through like some light pinks um, especially in the summer um, this color is really cute this one's probably called pillow fight I think or it could be ice cream actually I should say in the back um, oh yeah this one is called ice cream this is ice cream and it's very cute so that's what this side looks like and then yeah and the packaging is so cute these are the colors from the other side and again like they have a bunch of pinks like these two. oh sorry they have these and then these pinks so a lot of like very light pink colors that you can just rotate through as well as this color is very Christmassy. This one is called um, Racing Queen. And then I think this one is the Play Date. Yeah, this is Play Date. So this one is kind of like Christmassy colors. And you can see they have the glitter ones. Oh, well, this one doesn't have glitter, but this one is like shimmery. And this one is a little bit darker. So yeah, very excited to use these. And the packaging is so cute, um, so, yeah. Cool, well those were all the items I purchased in terms of a Sephora for beauty, for skincare, and some other fun items. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, I hopefully gave you some good suggestions that you can try for skincare. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!